all-inclusive buffets and how to survive an all-inclusive holiday. I've just come back from Turkey, Marmaris. I was there for a week on an all-inclusive with my daughter. And let me tell you something, there are some sorry sights out there and people haven't got a clue what to do when it comes to buffets. I'll give you an example. I was at the buffet, the breakfast buffet. I don't eat breakfast myself, but I'll explain what I was doing there later. In fact, I'll tell you now, I was putting some stuff in for my daughter while she was sat down chilling. And I seen two fat British kids, eight to 10 year old, two young girls. And it's not their fault that they're fat. I blame the parents at 10 year old. Why are you giving your kids such a shit start in life? They're going to get bullied. They're going to have shit relationships. They're going to have shit finance, financial, you know, mindsets because they're just so absorbed in eating food and all these fake releases of dopamine. You're already setting them up for a shit start in life. Why? Why not just hire a coach as a family, learn some nutrition habits and pass them on to your children? Don't leave them money. Don't leave them no finance. Don't leave them anything, a car, a house or nothing. You know what you should leave your kids? some education about health. If they look after themselves, everything else will eventually fall into place. Anyway, back to my story, these two kids. One girl comes over and says to the other, I don't know if they were sisters, oh, look at these French toast, and puts one in, and is about to walk away. The other girl comes and says, are you only putting one of those in? I'm getting eight of these. And yes, yeah, she put eight. That little fat kid put eight toast in her plate, eight toast. And in that plate, there was already eggs, there were beans in there, there was chips, chips bro, french fries, chips in breakfast, and some donuts and some croissants and something else, and she sat down, and just so happened they were sitting like that, kind of in that direction from me, and I was sat down and I was looking, thinking, she can actually eat all those for breakfast, a child should not eat eight slices of french toast for breakfast, and guess what the parents were doing, just sat there having exactly the same amount of food, guess what the parents looked like, yeah, you guessed it. And guess what everyone in that family, there was about 10 of them. Have a guess what you think that family looked like. Yeah, you've pictured it in your head, haven't you? And that's exactly what they looked like. Every single person in that family was a heavy set. Every single one of them. And the kids are going to follow suit. And I feel sorry for them, you know, because they're going to have a lot of health problems later on. I'll tell you something. You know, my daughter, for example, she's six. She'll get up in the buffet when, in the evening when we go and she'll be like, Oh yeah, let's go and get some. She doesn't eat much. She just eats very similar to me. She doesn't eat a lot, plays around with the food a lot. She doesn't eat a lot of food. But she's not skinny. She's quite a healthy girl. And we'll go for, we'll go for the desserts. And she'll say, I want to try this and I want to try that. And I, I'm like, and I say to her, and I say to her, right, are you going to eat that? And she's like, yeah, I'm going to eat it. I'm like, sure you're going to eat that? She's like, yeah. I'm like, remember when? We went away a few years ago. Because she's only six now, so she doesn't remember too long. But she remembers last year and the year before that. So remember when we went away and you loaded your plate with all that baklava and you didn't eat it? She'd be like, yeah, I do remember that. So you're not going to eat this, are you? No, put it back. So she'd put it back. You see, you get what I'm trying to say? So I've, I've reminded her of a time where I allowed her to do it. I allowed her. So with your kids, next time you're away or next time you're anywhere and they want to have something, like they want to get some ice cream and say to them, right, do you want 10 scoops of ice cream? Yeah, yeah, I want 10 scoops of ice cream. Go and get them the 10 scoops of ice cream said, make sure you finish it. They'll sit down, they'll start eating, they'll get to two and they'll think, yeah, I can't eat this. Picture that. Take a screen grab of that moment in time. Take a screen grab of that moment and remind her or remind your children of that time. Say, remember when this happened? I told you, you are not going to be able to eat all of that. And guess what happened? You didn't eat it. You know, just like when you're younger and you mess around as a kid and you get one of those backhanders you remember that backhander. And every time that that winds up again, you, 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 you know what's coming. So you just kind of chill out. And that's why nowadays the kids haven't got much discipline. But look, that's another story right there. That's another video. In fact, I don't even think I'm ever going to talk about stuff like that because I don't want to get cancelled. Anyway, you get what I'm trying to say. You know, you've got to teach your kids that them kind of habits. Now, those kids, they were good eaters, bro. Because I'm telling you what, they munched through those eight slices of French toast and whatever else they were eating because the parents were doing that themselves. But if they were taught at an early age how much to eat, when to eat, what to eat, they wouldn't be so fat right now. So you've got to teach your kids those habits. And buffets are absolutely crazy. What happens at buffets? This I'll explain to you. You go to a buffet and you go to the start section. You get your plate, you fill up a few stars and you don't, you don't, you don't think I want this over this. You'll think I'll have a bit of this and a bit of that and a bit of that. So you put in three, four different stars in your plate. You go over to the mains. You load a couple of those in your plate. You don't. You think, okay, there's like I, I, I don't know. I'm not big in cuisines, but let's say let's say you have an Adana kebab over here, right? 
I've done a kebab over here. You have grilled fish over there and you have chicken there and you have steak there. Now, I know me personally, I don't eat fish on holiday because I'm not a big fan of it. And the steak looks uh, not too good to me. It's a bit fatty or whatever. It's a different cut, whatever. The chicken looks all right. I'll eat the chicken, so I'll grab the chicken. But most people, majority of people, and you know I'm right when I say this, will do what? They'll have a bit of everything. They'll be like, oh, I'll try that, I'll try that, I'll try that. I'm on an all-inclusive. Why not have a little bit of everything? Then you go to the carbohydrates and you have potatoes, rice, pasta. I hate pasta. And I look at it and I think, rice, I don't know, that ain't cooked that too, too good, that ain't too clever. The potatoes, yeah, they don't have a bit of potatoes. But what do most people do? I'll try a little bit of everything. Then there's the walking back to the sea, with the scene area, there's the bread area. The, then you think, oh, you know what? I'll grab a roll. I'll grab a bread roll. I'll grab some butter and I'll sit down. And before you know, you've got this mountain of food in front of you. And you don't know what to do with it. You have a little nibble at this, have a little nibble at that, have a little nibble at a few things. And you think, oh, I quite like that. So and then you get up and you load your plate with just the item. You come back, you eat that. Then you go to the dessert menu. And the same thing at the dessert bar. You go to the dessert bar. And bro, listen, when you go to these dessert places, or just the all-inclusives, there's like three to 500 different dishes there. You, for some reason, feel the need to try every single one of them. Where does it say you need to try every single dish? But you still do it. Anyway, you go over there, you put a bit of baklava in, chocolate cake, milk cake. Ooh, there's a bit of, a, you know, some fruit there. I'll try a bit of fruit as well. And you go to sit down and you've got this massive amount of just dessert in front of you, just sugar and carbs and all sorts of crap. And you sit and you eat that. Then the waiter comes over and says, do you want some tea with that, sir? Yeah, go on, I'll have tea, two sugars. That's how most people's buffets go. You know I'm right when I say that. You know I'm right. It's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. You see me, I'm a very disciplined guy. I go up there. I, I'm like, I'm laser focused. I know what I want. I want some chicken and rice. Not, not one of those bodybuilding diets, but I know what I want to eat. You know, I'm not a big food guy. I'm not, I don't like salivate over food. I'm not like, ooh, I can't wait to eat that, you know? I look at it and I think, yeah, I'll have the chicken today. I'll have the chicken. Or the, yeah, the rice looks okay today. I'll have a bit of rice. Boom. Go over to the salad bar. And I do like in Turkey when they have the red cabbage and I put pomegranate sauce over it. If you haven't tried that, that's a game changer. You better get yourself some of that. And then I sit down, I eat, my I eat my meal, and I'll leave some room for some dessert. I'll get up, I like the baklava and ice cream, and I'll just get that. I will get the baklava and ice cream. I won't get the five or six different mousses they've got there and everything else. I'll get what I want, and I'll sit down and eat it and I'll have some Turkish tea. Now for breakfast, I don't do anything for breakfast. Let me tell you a little routine what I do on, 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 on an all-inclusive. Maybe it's gonna help you guys. I wake up in the morning, I go to the gym for one hour. I do a quick workout. The gym this time was, last time, last year, the hotel was amazing. This year's hotel gym was the worst in the world. It was such a big resort as well. It was a massive resort, but the hotel gym was terrible. It was like a multi-gym and a couple of dumbbells and this bent bar. Anyway, did a quick workout, about 45 minutes to one hour. I don't eat breakfast. I don't eat breakfast. I sit with my family, but I don't eat breakfast. I might just get, I'll, I might have like a, um, Iced tea, that's what I like. I like iced tea and I'll have drink, I'll just drink loads of water. Drink loads of water. If they've got peanuts, I'll have a couple of peanuts, but this time they didn't have any nuts, so I never had that. They had nuts, but they were mixed with all this other like weird, weird shit. I don't know what it was mixed with, so I was like, nah, I'm not gonna pick out the peanuts from this bowl, so I left it, I didn't wanna do it. So I'll skip breakfast and throughout the day while my daughter's on the poolside and she's having ice creams and pizzas and burgers and kebabs and whatever else she just eats you know, throughout the day, just to keep energy enough to swim and do all activities that she wants to do. I don't touch anything, I'll just be drinking water. That's it. In the evening, in this particular time, it was 6.30, where the the, the, the buffet opened for the, the dinner and um, the evening meal. And I will, like I said, I will get one meat, I will get one source of carbs if I'm gonna eat carbs that day, if I do fancy it. I might even get bread sometimes with a little bit of butter. And then when it goes to the dessert in, in Turkey, I'm definitely baklava. That's it, simple as, or chocolate cake, whatever that is. And I'll sit down and I'll eat what I want and I'll enjoy my food. It's healthy food, it's good food. I don't care, I'm going there, it's a week, I'm gonna enjoy my food. But that doesn't mean I'm gonna go there to fulfill my gluttonous desires and try 300 different dishes. Where the hell does it say when you go to an all-inclusive, you have to get your money's worth. I'm on an all-inclusive, I paid my money, I better get my money's worth. For what? To damage your health? Get your money's worth to damage your health. The funny thing about it is, 
You ask any billionaire, millionaire out there, anyone, and you say to them, would you give up a little bit of your money, 10% of your money, 50% of your money to gain back your health? If they're unhealthy, I can almost guarantee you every single one of them will say yes. Health is very important, very, very important for those people. And it's important for everybody. It should be important for everybody. And if you haven't got the money, even more important for you. Because the healthier you are, the more, in, more likely you are going to be to be alert. If you're more alert, eating good food, you're more on it. You're not going to be out there feeling sluggish for one week and be like, oh yeah, it's only a week. I'll get back when I get back off holiday. I'll sort myself out. Ain't going to happen, bro. Ain't going to happen. And if you're one of those guys who train to go to holiday, like six to eight week diet, just to get on holiday, why would you go through all that discipline, all that suck, all that hurt to go on holiday to what? Enjoy yourself? Sorry, are you enjoying yourself by eating food and feeling like shit? Ah, it's absolute garbage. I don't know what to say to some people, but look, that's my hack for going away. Just eat a little bit. Don't have breakfast. Skip. And then you know what? One or two days of the week, one or two days of the week, if you want to go and have breakfast, go and knock yourself out, have some breakfast. You're going to feel like crap. I'm telling you, you're going to feel like crap, but go and have some breakfast. Go to the poolside, order the pizza. Because at the poolside of this one, they had like a little cafe. You could order pizza, ice cream, which my daughter had every single day, twice a day without fail. And I had it like twice a week. The two times in that week, I was like, you know what? A pizza looks really good. I'm going to eat it. And it's not like that I didn't, I never like didn't eat it because I was like, oh, I'm dieting. I want to stay in shape. Oh, it's the sun's out. No, no, it wasn't that. Because I know I'm not a fat piece of shit, bro. I don't want that life. I don't want to start programming myself to start doing this kind of garbage. It's not something that I want to do. I want to keep myself alert. I want to keep myself fresh. I don't want to fit into that mold. I don't want to be where those fat kids were, you know? Not knowing that they're eating eight slices of French toast and they don't even know why they're eating eight slices of French toast. They think this is supposed to make you feel good. It's that dopamine, in it? Boom, boom, boom. It's that quick, fast release. Yeah, it feels good. Okay, oh, it feels good. And you just constantly want that. And then after you've got that, it's like, ah, oh, what's next? What's next? Phone, get the phone out. Let's get the phone out. Let's do something on the phone. They just want to feel good all the time. All the time. That's all it is. You're not on the phone, you're eating. If you're not on the phone, you're not eating, and you're of age to bust a nut, you're busting a nut. That's it. Very, very sad reality is a life. Anyway, I'm going to save that for another video, but hopefully I've given you my hack for all-inclusive holidays. And uh, yeah, tell me what you guys do on your holidays. Comment down below, like, and as always, please subscribe.